Hi, Assalamualaikum. So, we continue again about uncertainty. Okay, this is important for you to remember the learning outcome. So, you have to make sure that you have achieved all these three. Okay, by the end of all the three instead of two video lectures. Right, probability. Probability is a scientific measurement towards a occurrence or a frequency of uh, events. Okay, so we will say probability of X. Okay, so the likely likelihood of an event XI to occur. Okay, usually it's based on experiment. Okay, or based on our observation. Okay, and the subjective probability is based on expert assessment. So, subjective probability is given by the expert. They will say that, okay, 80% confidence. Okay, or 80% value of the certain knowledge before we can go to the certain uh, part of the process or the conclusion. Okay, so how to represent a probability? Okay, uh, this is a type of sample space. Okay, or the candidate uh, event that could occur. Okay, we have a collection here. Okay, so the experiment is, sorry. Okay, this, the experiment is to throw two coins, right? You have two coins, two shillings. So you throw this, okay? So what are the possibility of the result that we could get? Okay, uh, we could get tail and tail. Okay, in one toes, okay, you can get tail and tail, or we got tail and head. We have head and tail, or head and head. This can also be represented with a Venn diagram. Okay, for the first shilling and the second shilling, you have head and head. Uh, tail and tail and this is the intersection okay uh, then this can also be represented with the contingency table here okay for the first coin what are the probability of having a head and tail for the second coin the event of having a head and tail okay so this is the probability of having a head and head uh, head and tail tail and head and tail and tail of the first coin and the second coin Okay, using a contingency table, you can also straight away get the uh, total, okay, total value of those probability. And the fourth uh, representation uh, to show uh, what, uh, all the events that we can get is by using a tree diagram or tree structure. Okay, so on the first, uh, first coin, okay, we will get head and tail. And for the second coin, we might get head and tail as well. As well, okay. So we have head and head, okay, or head and tail, tail and head, or tail and tail, right? Okay. So uh, there are formula to cut to calculate uh, this probability. Okay. We have addition rule, multiplication rule, and also a complement rule. Okay. The condition for ad addition rule: they are not mutually exclusive events. And mutually exclusive. For multiplication rule, uh, the condition is if it's dependent or independent event, and also a complement rule. Okay, the first one, addition rule, not mutually exclusive event. So, what is actually mutually exclusive? Okay, not mutually exclusive mean can occur at the same time. Okay, it's not exclusive. Okay, it's not special, so there can be an intersection. Okay, so A and B can occur at the same time. So, probability of A and U. Okay, remember, addition rules meaning that it's all. Okay, so when it's all, we just need to add. So, that's why we call addition rule. Okay, not mutually exclusive, it can occur at the same time. It's not so exclusive, it's not so unique. So, you can have an intersection there. Okay, you have A. Plus B, and there can be an intersection. So the formula for this is the probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus with the intersection, probability of A and B. So what are the examples of a not mutually exclusive? Okay, the probability of a student A, for example, pass the exam but fail the course. Okay, is that logic? They are logic. I have few students before. They passed the exam because they did attend the final exam. 
But the final exam is carries only 30 or 40 percent of the cost structure. So these students student never came to the class. Okay, they didn't do any of the quizzes or assignment. So the final result, pass the exam. Say you have 28 over 30, or even 30 over 30, for the final exam. But for the whole for the whole course, only 30 over 100. So you fail the course. Right? Okay. Next, let's look at an uh, example of not mutually exclusive using a contingency table. Okay, given an uh, event, okay, A and B, as well as event C and D. Okay, this is a condition where event A and C happen. This is event B and C happen. D and A happen. D and B happen. Okay. So, probability of A and D is same with probability of D and A. It's the intersection. Okay, so you can uh, represent or you can say the other way around. A and B or B and A. Okay. So, the probability of A, okay, is both A regardless of with C or D. Okay, so it will be 4 over the total of the probability, okay, which is uh, 10. Okay, probability of B is 1 at 3, that is 4 over 10. Probability of C is 4 at 1, okay, 5 over 10. Probability of D is 2 plus 3, that is 5 over 10. So, probability of A and D is the intersection of A and D, which is 2 over 10. Probability of B and D is this one, 3 over 10. Okay, now I have told you to prepare paper and pen. So, please give me the answer. Okay, for uh, probability of A and C here. Okay, as well as probability of B and C. Okay, please write the question uh, number. Uh, sorry, please write the question. That is probability A and C. Okay, probability B and C. As well as the answer. Okay, you can pause this video. I'll, I'll go straight to the next one. Okay, then how about the addition rule? That the or. Okay, probability of A or D to happen. Okay, it's either A or D to happen. Okay, you cannot have this from the contingency table. Okay, so we use the rule just now, the addition rule. Okay, probability of A or D is equal to probability of A and the probability of D minus the intersection. Okay, so we have the probability of A here, that is 6 over 10. Probability of D, okay, that is 5 over 10. And probability of A and D, okay, which is do this, okay, 2 over 10. Okay, do a direct uh, uh, mathematical calculation. You have 9 over 10. Okay, again, please answer this okay, in the paper uh, that you have prepared before. Okay, next is the addition rule Okay, for the mutually exclusive event. So, what is mutually exclusive event? Mutually ex exclusive event is an event where they cannot occur at the same time. There is no intersection between these two events. Okay, There's, There is no pro pro possibility that these two events can happen at the same time. Okay, So, to represent this in the formula, okay, this is the probability of A or B because you cannot have both at the same time. It's either A or B is equal to, there's a direct uh, addition here, probability of A plus the probability of B. Okay. So, the example of event I can give you if you toss a shilling. One, sh one shilling you can all only have either tail or head. Okay. Mm. Alright, the second example is for a course. Okay, a student can only pass a course, fail a course, or drop a course. Okay, you cannot have pass and fail for the same course at the same time. Or you pass and drop at the same time or fail and drop at the same time 
Okay, there is no possibility of that. Okay, same with grade. You can only have one grade for each uh, course. You cannot have A and B plus for subject introduction to AI. Okay, so the lecturer has to give only one. There's no intersection. Alright, so let's look how to calculate this. Okay, in a mutually exclusive event, okay, uh, the probability of having grade A, B, C or D, okay, just add. So, probability of you having A or D, okay, is 0 0.2, add with the probability of D, that is 0 0.2, that is 0 0.4. Okay, probability for a student to have grade B or D. Okay, so please calculate this in the paper and uh, that you have prepared before. Okay, so to recognize what is mutually and not mutually uh, exclusive event. Okay, consider the same space. Okay, the sample space. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And then we have a subset. Okay, let the first subset is 2, 4 and 6. Okay, the second set is 1 and 5. And the third set is 2 or 3. Okay, this is a subset of all this number. They cannot contain another number outside S. Okay. So, E and 1. Uh, sorry. E1 and E2. Okay, the first set and the second set. Is there any intersection? Is there any number that they share here? Okay, 4, 5, 6 and this is 1 and 5. No, right? Okay, so there is no intersection. So, E1 and E2 are mutually exclusive. Unique. Okay, exclusive is unique. So, it's mutually exclusive. Both are exclusive. There's no intersection. So, you have a, um, you have an empty uh, set here. Right? Then, empty set, sorry. Okay. Then how about E1 and E2? Eh, sorry, E1 and E3. E1 is 2, 4, 6. E3 is 2 and 3. Okay, is there any intersection, the number that they share? Yes, you have both 2, right? You have 2 here and you also have 2 here. So the intersection is 2. So that means E1 and E3 are not mutually exclusive. How about E2 and E3? E2, 1, 5. E3 is... 2, 3. Correct. It is mutually exclusive. Okay, so thank you. I'm going to continue with the multiplication rule uh, on the next video slide.